including the news that Kushida may be done with WWE now that his contract has expired. He is done. He is done. Um, his contract expired. They had. It was not a secret that that he wasn't going to stay. And uh, I know in WWE the belief is is that he starts with New Japan in in June. Um, so that's what they believe, and it's probably the case. So um, yeah, he signed a three year deal, and kind of wasted three years of his career. I think he sure did. When was it up? This week. And so they couldn't beat him on the way out. They had to beat him up, and then he didn't ever even had, did that final job to Von Wagner. I guess they figured that beating him, that getting him beaten up, and not even doing the match was the final job. Well, so that was the which the is idea. funny because they advertised him doing a final job and then just didn't do it. Yeah, that happens a lot. Um, yeah, they advertised the match and then decided, I guess, that uh, they would just beat him up instead and injure him and that they would have him and Jiro do the match instead so yeah the power bomb under the you know over the whatever it was over the suitcases was like his that was writing him off the show well so, no more no more jacket time what's what's him and Jiro gonna do uh well they tore off his jacket Remember? Yeah, but he, yeah but he showed up with another jacket this week oh so maybe he's just gonna be i don't know he's gonna still have a jacket i guess i don't know Mm. But, but uh, yeah, you know, it was, uh, I never thought the guy made the right call. I know he wanted to come to the United States. He was uh, like 35, 36 at the time, I think 35, when he, when he signed with WWE. And, you know, he was, I think that in his mind he had plateaued because he was the face of the New Japan Junior Heavyweight Division. And then Will Ospreay and Hiromu Takahashi pretty much passed him up. So it was kind of like, and WWE had been after him, you know, when, when uh, Paul Levesque was trying to sign, like, all the great workers, and this guy's a great worker. So, you know, it's, it seemed good, but once he got here, you know, it's, it's tough when you're a small Japanese wrestler um, in WWE. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, he wasn't, even, even during the Levesque era, you know, when um, they were more into wrestling ability than size, he still wasn't a good fit because even more so than the wrestling ability, they were into the talking ability, and he was not a great English language talker. So it was going to be tough. But he was a big star. So if you remember when they got him, they made a real big deal out of signing him. You know, the big they gave him a big you know de debut and acted like they had gotten a giant star, and he was a a legitimately big star in Japan at the time. But um, you know. For all the reasons that you would have expected, it didn't work out. It wasn't going to work out. And then now, like with the handwriting on the wall, I mean, there was, you know, I mean, he kind of wasted three years in a lot of ways. Um, so it kind of, you know, um, you know, even, you know, even with the changes in philosophy, with the change in philosophy, even if he didn't think he had wasted three years with the change in philosophy, it's like they had no interest in him in the main roster. Um the you know the nxt roster you know they wanted younger they wanted bigger uh they wanted better speakers than him so he was going to get lost there anyway so that's what happened you know it was uh you know well at the end of the day at least when he goes back to new japan he'll always know where that hard cam's at yeah, it doesn't matter in New Japan though, because in, in New Japan the mentality of the cameraman is, is the it's it's a very different mentality. Which actually, you know, the, the, the one of the things about the camera work in in New Japan Pro Wrestling that makes the matches seem so much more authentic than than pretty pretty much AEW and WWE is that they film it as a, like a sport. So the idea is is that the camera finds you instead of you always looking for the camera. And it, it makes for a, it, it, it's, it's actually superior when it comes to, especially because you don't have a million camera cuts, but it's superior when it comes to a dramatic match. But, um, you know, we're taught one way and they're taught another way. So yeah, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, where, where the camera is in, in the new Japan cameramen are taught to find you. Hey, if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.